All right, this next match review comes to us from BB463, who has submitted uh, some match reviews before that we appreciate a lot. They're at 1.4k hours, so a little bit past where I expect most players to be uh, good at macro and micro pressure and dead by daylight, get most of their fundamentals down. Uh, playing Unknown, which is a character, like I said earlier, is very, very good, but um, a little complicated. Definitely a character that I don't gel with uh, personally. Um, Thankfully, I watch a lot of people who are very good, so I do have some auxiliary information there. Uh, you were playing on Mother's Dwelling, which used to be one of the worst maps in the game for Keller, but uh, got shrunk to a reasonable size. You can still have some problematic uh, setups, including God Windows of mid-building, which is not fair. <laughs> and I don't know why we have God Windows in 2024, but... Yeah. Um, don't take a look around, Super X. Okay, so you have kind of like the old-school add-ons. Um which is the notebook and the vanishing box. Vanishing box, obviously still great. Other options, blurry photo, blurry film reel. Um, this is really funny because like, this is what people love to run. This was like the go-to combo when this first character came out. But I feel like most unknown mains kind of turned on the notebook as time went on. That's, I just think that's cool. That it's a, it's a classic, it's a throwback. <laughs> um, your build is, um, I like the pain res, grim embrace, great combo. Um, both perks are great slowdown that require you to hook all four people. Just do keep in mind that if you get somebody who's immersing, that it kind of blows up Grim Embrace pretty badly. Kind of like the downside of the perk. Um, you have Bitter Murmur and Barbecue, which are good info perks. Barbecue obviously a lot better than Bitter Murmur, but um, they're a little on the underwhelming side. Um, I would almost want to see like lethal here instead of bitter murmur if you have it because that would extend both barbecue and the aura reading off of grim embrace once you get our reading on the session for the fourth um uh hook but other than that yeah I still wonder how we, like, people want to talk about how the alien doesn't feel like the alien in Dead by Daylight. How do we go from, like, cryptid horror crawling the ground to a grenade launcher? Oh, unfortunate. Yep, there's the gun window I was talking about. Ooh, this mind game. Ooh, this mind game. Ooh, this mind game. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so... This is a god window, which means that there's no way to circumvent this. On both sides of this window for a long period of time are just long walls, long walls, long walls. Um, so, yeah. They're, they're, you're not able to mind game it. <laughs> if, if a window has super long walls on both sides, like a, like, like a main building like this, or like Father Campbell's Chapel is another good example, um, mind gaming is not really possible. They're, unless they're just like outright just like not paying attention at all it's it's not going to work so i would not i would not bank on that working as you can see they just kind of like ran away if you opt not to go for that i think i know it's for a, a uh, like a particularly frustrating and difficult killer because they like they feel very punishing to miss with yeah, you do end up getting that I'd like the choice to aim lower, so the effect works out. Call them out for the... I would have also gone for that, but unfortunately, if they are aware that that's what you're going for, uh, they are just going to space you out. I'm not sure what that mind game was. Just like, he could still see your red stain. So it's not like he didn't know you were there. I'm not sure what that mind game was. Make sure you don't invest too much time in this chase. Yeah. Hi. It doesn't seem like you're purposely placing your hallucinations at all. You're just kind of just letting them pop wherever. You can uh, tap your power button and save your hallucinations and place them where they're most helpful to you. I'm not sure if you're aware of that or if you're just not using it for some purpose, but you probably should. Got ya. Hey, wheel. Oh, 
Pues va a haber más maneras. Okay, good shot. Mm. Just check out your channel. Yo, thank you. It's the uh, Puffalo video, right? I appreciate that. Thank you. Hope you're doing well today. We're recording matches right now to try and help people improve in Dead by Daylight. Good catch on where she was. Good use of your hallucination. What? Can't really see him on screen. Or wood. No, you're totally fine, Ashy. I'm just glad I found out it was you. And not some other Ash. He's just off screen. He's just sitting on the desk to my left. Are you helping me review? What do you think? Are you a better unknown player than me? Probably. Hey! No. Not climb on my computer. No. <laughs> he was like, maybe dad's not looking. Maybe I can get away with this. You think you can get away with it? Oh, you can't climb on my computer. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. You're not wrong. I don't see the light yet. Nice, good shot. You can get on the desk, you just can't get on my computer. You're allowed on desk, but not computer. This buff up, yeah. We did the, uh, the Adept series that he does. I was the Xeno guy. Oh, that pole's unfortunate. If that pole isn't there, you got that. Your ideally, your next target should be far. Do you want to go say Anna Mom? Go say Anna Mom? <laughs> it has always been interesting. They're really difficult. And a lot of people don't... A lot of people think just because they're good at free zoning that they just like... They're super easy. But anything outside of that takes some finesse and skill. And I think that a lot of people get like really like... I don't know why you went for the shot there. The pallet's on the other side. Yeah, you could have just M1'd there. I think you should have just M1'd. Yeah. That's unfortunate because she's death oak, so you... It's the ideal that you, uh... Down in her career, but now this just could be way longer. As a result. I don't even think you aimed at her there. You just kind of like aimed where you thought she would be. Yeah, you're kind of aiming where you think she's going to be and not where she's like isn't going. Yeah, it's unfortunate because realistically you need her dead. If you aren't going to get her down anytime soon, you need to just go find somebody else. Yeah, that sucks. No clue people hated Xeno. A lot of people hate Xeno. People hate facing Xeno because they don't know how to place turrets or get the most out of turrets. People hate playing as Xeno because learning the tail attack is actually fairly frustrating and hard to figure out. Um, and also dealing with turrets is something that takes skill but isn't super easy to figure out. So both sides really don't like Xeno. I know Buffalo in specific was not a huge Xeno fan. Probably still isn't, but at least they got their adept. <laughs> at least they got the adept though. Now you just get kind of lost. See, I come from fighting games too. Area, so I'm like used to that. I'm also like, yep. Yeah, unfortunately, in this middle zone here where you're like, okay, well, I need to leave Laura. Ideally, you should be going between Leon and Laura, but like right now, you're just kind of like wandering around and not like went for either of them. Right now, you're experiencing my frustration with when I play Unknown, of just like constantly getting revealed before your uh, next opportunity to VX. A big capsule? It's only 14 centimeters around. It's actually, uh. Yeah. 
I think what makes it feel BS is the strafing ability, not so much that the hitbox itself is giant or anything to that effect. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't see you really placing your... I thought that would have hit him. You're just having really long chases with people you need dead. Which is not helping me. And my team won? Yeah. Double turrets especially, like, students have a really hard time against. Really hard time against. Legion, Bubba, and Chucky. You know what's funny? I know almost every Chucky made in the community. <laughs> it's kind of wild. Ghost Anonymous, the fake Bennett. I don't know Mr. Smithsonian. I follow them on Twitter, but I don't know them. Ashlo plays Tiffany. Chucky, so you think the homie just came out of the woodwork. <laughs> he, Chucky! Yeah, if you like Chucky a lot and you want to learn area, follow a ghost anonymous homie that just spoke up. So if you could shout yourself out, that'd be awesome. So they that could be an easy thing for They they're a very good Chucky and how I know most stuff that I know about Chucky comes from them. Ideally you should have been trying to find Lara here. <laughs> Is that Chucky okay, that's the in the study mission. It looked like they were breakdancing for a moment. I was like, what? Why are they breakdancing? <laughs> yeah, Ghost has a very um, kind and understanding and educational nature. They're not nearly as, like, grumpy grump as I am. While I try to be very um, educational, I, I get a little grumpy grump a lot. Match for all my mains? That's what I do. That's how I'm able to do the match reasons. I just, like, um, try to have somebody I either, either I play them or I watch somebody play them a lot so I can stay up to date. Hey, boss. Hope you're well today, homie. This was actually a pretty winnable game. It's just that, like, for some reason, like, you got... Leon, but like after you got Leon, you just didn't go back for Laura at all. Tao? Uh, we love. Uh, I was assuming even Tad. Tad Tao? Right? Tad Tyron? Yeah, Tad. We love Tad. Tad, we've known for a while. Tad liked me before I was good at the game. <laughs> Tad, Tad liked me when Tad, frankly, didn't have to because I sucked at the time. Love Tad. I do make the games brighter. Um, reshade. Reshade. Typically. Yeah, this this game was a 2K that realistically should have been a 3K at the very least, but there's just some minor um, efficiency mistakes. Um, in terms of uh, your main takeaways, uh, the main reason this game was not a technically a victory and it was just a tie is because while you correctly identified you needed to get Laura out, uh, Laura, you ended up you know, chasing for a little bit, realizing you had a little bit of long chase and disembarking, which is smart. That's what you should do. And then you found Leon and got Leon dead, who is your other character you're ping ponging back and forth with, which is great. But after you got Leon dead, you didn't really go back for Laura. Just because you have somebody dead does not mean the match is won yet. You should continue to try and get your death hit gamers out, even if you already have somebody dead. Because as you found out, uh, especially with uh, so little gens left on the board, that that is still a pretty perilous situation that you need to continue applying pressure with. So just because you get one death of gamer out doesn't mean you need to ignore your other death of gamers. Realistically, you should have sought out Laura, uh, Laura after that. Um, in terms of your uh, unknown gameplay in particular, I would like to see a more purposeful placement of your hallucinations. You're kind of like just dropping them wherever they happen to be. Um, the hallucinations are your map pressure and how you get around in order to uh, pressure areas of the map. So the fact that you're just kind of letting them drop wherever kind of makes your map or macro pressure kind of like inconsistent and random on this character. Um, 
Whereas if you had held it by tapping the button and placing them like closer to like a gen or a specific area that you want to pressure, uh, you would have much better results. So make sure you try to purposely place your hallucinations. Um, oh, that you played mostly fine. Like you, like I said, you just kind of had a, a missed order of operations when it came to who you go after. You weren't really utilizing your um, hallucinations very much. I think the only other thing I can say is there's some situations. There's some situations where you could have teleported into chase early, but like it didn't really occur to you. So thank you for the follow area. I appreciate it. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. Well, that's like the only other thing I could say is like try to use your hallucinations and chase more as well.